you know, one of the most exciting ways to combat climate change is to accelerate a customer-led revolution to technologies that improve their lives. You know, it's nice to say, oh, you should do this or you should do that, but it's way better if we can provide technological solutions that actually improve customers' lives and so they want them anyway. My name is Mary Powell and I am the CEO of Sunrun. The U.S. power grid is under strain. It's struggling to keep up with surging electricity demand, from AI data centers and electric cars to increased domestic manufacturing. The need for power is skyrocketing. And while large-scale wind and solar farms can help, connecting them to the grid takes years. But we currently generate more solar energy than we can store, particularly in places like California. So to maximize the impact of solar energy, battery storage that can hang on to that electricity is absolutely critical. Mary Powell, CEO of Sunrun, has a faster solution, more rooftop solar and battery storage units. Sunrun recently hit a major milestone, installing solar and battery systems in over a million U.S. homes. These systems create clean energy on site and store it for later use, acting like small-scale power plants. Sunrun is really so different than your traditional solar company. In fact, you know, we talk about ourselves as being a clean energy lifestyle company. We are that beloved, trusted partner of customers, of Americans that want to transition their experience with energy and they want to move to a more predictable, affordable, resilient way to power their homes and their lives. We've really made a significant transition over the last 18 months uh, to be what we call a storage first company. So we went from installing storage with solar about 15% of the time 18 months ago to 54% of the time now. So our customers are customers that are capable of really having that affordable, reliable, resilient energy future that so many Americans are really demanding now as utility prices have gone up and as the reliability of so many utilities in the grid has become more strained and that reliability has gone down. To me, this, this um, acceleration of the customer-led revolution is so powerful because it is also the gateway to all of these other technological solutions that improve lives and happen to also really improve um, you know, emissions. I, you know, just Sunrun, what we've done already, we have saved consumers $1.3 billion. In total, those 1 million homes generate at least seven gigawatts of power and store two gigawatts of electricity. With electricity demand rising, rooftop solar is becoming a crucial part of the solution. The Energy Information Agency predicts solar power will be the top source of new energy this year, increasing by 42% in the second half. But the grid itself also needs urgent upgrade. So I worked at a utility company called Green Mountain Power for 20 years, the last 12 years of which I was the CEO of the company. You know, it's, it's really funny because um, it's the one when I was first offered the opportunity to go to Green Mountain Power and work for a utility, I actually said no. <laughs> and reportedly I said no three times, the CEO told me, uh, before I finally said yes. And it, was, it became one of the most powerful lessons in life of I didn't know what I didn't know because I had all of these ideas about what it would be like. And it was completely different. It ended up being like the most amazing opportunity to lead a radical transformation of a utility to become, as, as I like to call it, we were about becoming the unutility. We were about becoming innovative, customer obsessed, and delivering on an affordable, clean energy future. When I was the CEO of Green Mountain Power, way back in 2007, it became so clear to me that the grid of the past was not going to be the, the best grid of the future for the customers that we served, or really for any customers in America, that it foundationally was not built in an economically efficient way. And it certainly, as we were making the transition to clean energy, it certainly wasn't going to be the most effective way to deliver energy in the future. So as the CEO of Green Mountain Power, I actually leaned in hard 
to, to encouraging customers to go solar. Way back in 2007, we actually incented our customers to go solar, and we were the first utility in the United States to also put uh, individual storage units, power walls at the time, into customer homes. So it's interesting that so many years later, I got the opportunity, I was asked if I would be interested. I was then on the board of Sunrun, and I was asked by the founders and the members of the board if I would be interested in becoming the next CEO of Sunrun. And you know, I, it was one of those things, like I felt like, well, you kind of had me at hello, because this is, this is the type of work I've been active in accelerating um, really since I'd been in the energy business, but in a massive way since I had become CEO of a utility. As I joined the utility industry, there was a massive ice storm that took down, literally took down massive steel tower transmission lines that were bringing power from Canada to the US. So that on top of like time after time after time, because I'm a boots on the ground leader, so if there was ever any kind of climatic event, I was out and about visiting crews, knocking on doors of customers, making sure they were okay, and I saw so many instances where we had just made investments to storm hardy lines, and then those lines were on the ground. So it was really obvious to me, again, that the US grid, it's a 100 plus year old system. It's not its fault, but it was not built for economic efficiency and it was not built for climate resilience. And so while we were going to need to continue to make investments in that grid, it also was so obvious that we needed innovation. We needed technological innovation and we needed to provide, uh, just like you've seen in so many other aspects of our lives, I think cell phones are an amazing example, right? How they transformed you know, the technology that, that we, know, we now know as telecommunications, right? That the same kind of thing, the same opportunity existed in the energy space. So it was really exciting as solar started to take off and then with storage, it, that really makes solar um, so much more incredibly valuable for the consumer, but also for the grid. I did not always want to enter a company. I grew up, I grew up uh, in New York City in an artistic home and as I like to say, I actually felt sorry for people in business. <laughs> I thought it seemed like a really kind of low value, boring <laughs> existence. So I call myself the accidental executive. I, I truly feel like I've landed in the situations I have because I love people and I'm passionate about causes. Um, and so, you know, I, I sort of fell into business because I didn't think I could support myself on my artistic talent <laughs> at a young age. Um, I was right about that. I don't think I would have been able to. Um, and, you know, what I found is that my love of people, my love of cause and my just you know my just deep belief always that like to do great things um, requires amazing people like all wanting to accomplish the same thing together and so um, that's you know I, I fell in love with leadership and leading change and then uh, the energy space just became such an incredibly powerful space for driving dramatic change, you know, expressing my, my passion for people and for uh, providing solutions to customers. What I love about Sunrun and what I, when I think about the future, I get so excited because I feel like, oh my gosh, we're at a million customers. Oh my gosh, we're installing storage now over 50% of the time. We also have launched EV chargers, smarter panels. We're working on bundling products and services for customers for the future. And so when I look to the future, you know, I, I, love, to, I love to laugh with the team and think, oh my gosh, like, Let's, it'll be so fun, like five years from now, to laugh at how we thought hitting a million was so exciting. Like, it is truly about being the leader in like leading this customer-led revolution to a way better way to power homes, to power our lives, to power our transportation, and ultimately to power America's grid. Way back in 2015, as a utility executive, we demonstrated that by having storage and solar 
on homes, in homes, that we could actually reduce the cost of the grid for all the customers that we served. We would leverage those sources during peak summer months. We would leverage those to, what I always said the goal was not to beat down the peak, it was to flatten and crush the demand so that you're spreading it evenly over time and you're making the grid more cost effective by doing that. So, so it's really exciting that now, so many years later, Sunrun is at the scale where we literally have 16,000 customers enrolled in a program in California to help the grid for a significant period of time, leveraging all of those resources that are in homes, providing so much value to the consumer, but then also helping to make the grid more affordable and reliable for all.